On this inside line, I'm gonna go over a truck I get a lot of questions about, and that is this 2014 Ram 2500. If you've been following our channel for quite some time, you know we've made a lot of modifications over the years, and I kinda of wanna dive into how those modifications are still working. Uh, gonna address some questions that I frequently get about the camper shell on the back of this thing, and just overall, any problems I've had with this diesel uh, since purchasing it new in 2014. All right, let's get to it. Now, quick backstory on the truck. I uh, ordered it brand new in 2013 as a 2014. Got it from Big O Dodge uh, in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, the main reason I actually ordered it and just didn't buy one off the lot is because I wanted one with rear air and that was something that I was not able to find unfortunately so I had to order it. It's a big horn edition. It does have the 6.7 liter Cummins automatic four wheel drive. It's really at this point in its life it's a kind of a long hauler if we're going to go on a big long trip. It's, it's nice you can put so much stuff in these things um, and it tows fantastic but uh, I want to get into uh, a a lot of the questions I, I get about this thing I'll go into all the emission stuff that I, I get questions about and some of the mods on it so uh, let's get to that all right so we're gonna start under the back of the truck since it's a spot that I get a lot of questions about and we'll talk about the air suspension so this has got an icon 2.5 lift on it and if you see right about there there's a little rod that uh, comes with the icon kit and it gives you uh, that sort of lift to trick the truck into raising uh, up the back all it comes with is that you get a set of sway bars and uh, shocks now what i can tell you is this um, right now i have it set up with the alternate ride height which basically means the rear suspension is a little bit lower on it um, that's not really that big of a deal uh, it the reason i do that is when you go to the beach or any type of like situation where the suspension is going to be traveling more it keeps it from topping out uh, haven't had an issue with uh, towing with it it always seems to kind of figure out where it needs to be so that's been really nice um, in terms of adjusting the compression adjusters, I will say that I uh, modify them a lot more in the rear, uh, depending on what I have. So if I have my rooftop tent up there, or if I'm towing, I'm definitely back there turning those compression adjusters up uh, a little bit tighter. Uh, up front, uh, you've got compression adjuster knobs uh, right here. And I usually have it to about a six uh, up front, which seems to work uh, fairly well for this truck. I mean, the engine's pretty heavy. Um, you know, this suspension's been on here since 2018. Uh, I live in the coast. That's why you're seeing a, you know, good bit of a little surface rust here and there. And these shock bodies have uh, held up really well. The truck rides fantastic. Now, uh, I will say the uh, question I always get, especially since I've moved to 37s, is does it rub? And yeah, it does. It rubs right back here, but it hasn't been enough where I feel like I need to do a lot of trimming. You know, I'm not rock crawling with this thing. Um, you know, the, the, it basically sees like game land roads and uh, out here where I am today, out at the beach, which I will say this uh, recon grappler is what's on it now. Um, and I went from the, I had a 35 inch ridge grappler originally and then I moved to the recon on it now and this is a fantastic beach tire and I really like it uh, for on-road driving as well I've been super impressed with uh, the tire overall it's on a 20 by 9 uh, gear off-road wheel uh, it's a 5.71 inches backspacing I, I want to say uh, I'll have to put the offset because I don't remember it but it doesn't stick out a ton um, I really actually like how this setup works better than the 35s I had on here initially I feel like the steering is a little bit easier this tire has been very quiet so overall uh, very happy with this package you know you can tell that it just doesn't stick out a ton so you're not constantly like slinging stuff everywhere 
that's been great. Uh, that's really kind of the tire and suspension package. So I know a lot of people ask, does it rub? Uh, yeah, it just rubs a little bit right there. No issues in the back. I don't know. I have this ARB front bumper. And so I, if it had a stock bumper, maybe it'd rub in the front. I don't know. Uh, I don't have radius arm drops. I know that's a, uh, a common mod. Uh, it didn't come with the kit. So this is basically just a set of springs up front, adjustable track bar and uh, shocks. Overall, the suspension has been great. I feel like it rides really nice. You know, I've got a lot of weight in the front of this thing because I've got uh, not only this big, you know, uh, ARB front bumper, but I've got a Warren 16.5 winch and uh, a set of lights. Now I will say the lights, I don't really use that often, but I like how they look, so I got them. Uh, the winch has been helpful. Thankfully, I haven't had to use it in a while. This bumper uh, has held up great. Like I say, I'm down here in the coast and uh, haven't had an issue with powder coat on it. You know, it's got, you know, tens and tens of thousands of miles. This is one of the first mods I did to this thing is put that front bumper on there um, and it's held up really well. One problem area I think it's worth noting is I've been having a lot of issue over the past like two years with this headlight. I'll get just times where it's constantly foggy and then I'll get times where it's perfectly fine. So uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it'll usually burn this out, you know, pretty quickly. Uh, the other light doesn't do it. Uh, I, I know there was some sort of recall at some point about some vents for these lights and I've gone and done everything that you're supposed to do and clean all that out and it still does this so I don't know I'm cautious and reluctant to get an aftermarket set of lights in there because I feel like they're just going to fade I've had such bad luck with aftermarket lights so uh, not sure what we'll do for that but right now it still works it's not like causing an issue one way or the other but that's how that goes all right so let's uh let's jump back to the back where I know I get a lot of questions so this is the ARE CX uh, HD series top. I think it's a lot of, I think I got that right. I'll put it in the description with a link to whenever I first got this thing. But um, I get a lot of questions about it. And one of the most is common is do I regret getting it where I didn't put a back glass in the back? And I'll say this, uh, it really hasn't been that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice sometimes to be able to see back there, but I did it for security and the ability to just kind of toss a bunch of stuff in the back and not sweat it. And that's, uh, that's really what it's been good for. So uh, if I had to do it again, I'd still probably get the painted uh, back panel. So that doesn't bother me. Uh, the rear side box uh, is great. Uh, my dad just got a bunch of random stuff in here right now and that's basically how this thing kind of sits is we sort of pack it out for wherever we're going to go and then put stuff in there. The shelves have been good. Nothing's rickety. It's uh, you know fairly easy to, to you know use all the latches and stuff. All the shocks and everything stay really you know good easy to latch, easy to turn. Um, I'm only 5'6", so this thing is tall. I think uh, someone in a, one of the other videos commented on that, and I'm like, yeah, it, you definitely, for me, I have to shut the tailgate first and then like reach up to pull that down. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Now, here's the not so good things about this. Uh, as you can see here, we had a little bit of rain last night. I've got a leak problem, and this has popped up over the past like six months or so and it's coming from this back glass or this back window if you will and it's uh it's hard to like identify but it's somewhere like behind this seal um i've got water coming in and so i'm not sure if i'm gonna have to like take this back where i got it and if they have to reset the window or if it's just something i'm gonna have to learn to seal that's been a little annoying uh, that's the only spot that I've found that it leaks though. It does have the big rack and this sort of, you know, interior skeleton deal that, uh, so you can support, all, I think it's like 550 pounds or something like that on the rack. So that's nice. Uh, right now, it's pretty empty. Uh, we just took a trip with it and the only thing I've got in the back is the spare. 
Uh, this box right here, if you're thinking about getting it, it's fantastic. I really like them. Uh, the, the only complaint that I have about this box uh, is that you have to, this is going to sound silly, you have to open it to open it. So that means you got to swing it out to actually get access to it um, because it's like too hard to get to with the little box. So maybe I should have put it on that side. But uh, those are great. Uh, you can actually take the whole thing off. I never do that. What I use this for is if I'm towing something, I will take the straps off of the trailer and I'll put them all in here so I know that's where all the straps went and I don't have an issue. Uh, typically, I'll strap up the spare and have it flat if I need more room. Um, I still have the stock spare underneath the back of this truck. I don't know why, I should probably take it out. But other than that, this thing's been fine. The, the handles are good. Uh, it, it did not leak forever. And then something has happened in the past, I don't know, six months or so where I'm getting uh, a little bit of a leak out of that. So, I mean, maybe it's something with this bolt situation here that I need to check out. But uh, I think that's worth noting. Everything else has been great. It's, it's held up well, no weird mildew. I mean, this thing has been on here for four plus years so uh you know no no complaints about that still been real happy the finish on it still looks really nice uh the bars up top um i sometimes will put a rooftop tent up here uh just for the kids to have some fun with and what i found is the spread on them is actually a little long for a traditional like my arb simpson series 3. so i had to build some brackets that allowed it to uh, go that way i wish the the rails were actually a little bit tighter together for what i use it but beyond that it hasn't really been a uh, a big deal so um that's really my two cent on it I, i'm still happy with it i still like it uh Maybe if I had to do it again, uh, I still, I think the box is well worth it. I don't think, I, you know, I always go back and forth, would have been a good idea to have this box over there, but I think uh, it would have made it where it, it would have kind of crowded up the back too much. It is a real pain in the butt to try to clean that back glass back there. That is super difficult, uh, but you know, it, again, I can't see out of the back anyways because of the, uh, uh, that part of it. So no big deal. Overall, uh, happy with it. You know, I think if you're thinking about getting one of these things, I think they're worth checking out. Uh, I like the latches. I wish I could have got them in black. I just like black better. Uh, but I mean, you can see, I mean, this, you know, it's got weathering and stuff on it, but it is really held up nicely. This thing does not leak. I never have any issues with stuff inside of here getting wet. Uh, so that's awesome. That's that you can really put, you know, good stuff in there, easy to lock all that good jazz. So still very happy with, uh, uh, with this cap just got to figure out what's going on with that leak situation, but you know uh, That is is what it is. Okay, so let's uh, let's get into the emission stuff on this that I keep getting asked about So a question I get a lot on this truck is do I still have the emissions? Uh, equipment intact and have I had problems with it and the answer to that is yes I still have all of the factory emissions equipment on this truck everything is just how it was from the factory I've done no performance upgrades or intake upgrades on it uh, anything like that and yes I've had issues with the DEF stuff over the years uh, primarily I've had to replace the diesel exhaust filter that was covered under warranty um, I've had to uh, swap out uh, it was like an injector line that was from the uh, urea tank that they had to modify um, but that's really been about it for the most part uh, this powertrain has been very reliable. I haven't had a lot of issues. I've had some little stuff. The clamps for the intake rusted out, which I thought was kind of crazy. That happened pretty early on, and so I, uh, I got some new clamps and put them on there. I could have taken the truck in for warranty work, but it just wasn't worth it. Um, I did have a back glass leak on this thing, and that had to be covered under warranty. Uh, but for the most part, uh, really been a fairly problem-free truck. Uh, the big thing that I think is worth noting here is, you know, this truck has 373 differential gears in it. Um, it handles 37s, no problems. I don't feel like I need to do a 456 or any type of differential gear for it. Um, 
in terms of how it eats emissions or eats the uh, urea stuff uh, and fuel economy on the highway it really doesn't use it that much and I'm getting about 20 miles per gallon uh, when I'm on the interstate in town it's usually around 16 to 17 uh, and it definitely you can see it using the uh, emissions fluid a, a bit more now when I tow this stuff eats up uh, the emission stuff. It's really obnoxious. I'm, I've towed this thing, I've towed with this uh, to Moab, Utah a few times from North Carolina, so that's a pretty good uh, trek. And every time I go through just gallons of this stuff, and that's super annoying. I, I wish there was a, a, a better uh, way to do that because I find myself constantly having to take that stuff with me because uh, I'm worried, oh, I don't know if it's always going to be sold at the pump and, and that sort of stuff. And that's been uh, not so great. Uh, you know, I don't love the emission stuff like everybody else does, but I'm trying to play by the rules and keep all this stuff intact and not have an issue. I'm officially outside of warranty, so yeah, I'm a little bit more nervous about uh, you know the longevity of it, but it is what it is. Uh, in terms of how this vehicle, if I've done any like calibration or mods, I do have a ProCal on it. I did that for the 37s, uh, so my speedometer be correct and it make sure the shift points were a little better. Uh, that really helped. The only thing I don't like about the ProCal is I thought it was going to allow me to delete the TPMS threshold uh, or delete it in general and it does not allow you to delete it. You can go in and have to go to the dealer and get this code and they do all this stuff to uh, allow you to run a lower TPMS threshold but I have not done that. I just need to move my TPMS sensor from my old wheels onto these but uh, that's really been about it. You know, it's really been a fairly solid truck. Uh, no HVAC issues, no issues out of the airbags, um, no, uh, you know, nav system uh, failure. Uh, all that's been great with uh, this wheel and tire combination uh, with such high numerical backspacing. It really keeps the scrub radius down. Uh, so that's fantastic. The tires, I know it's always hard to pick up tire audio they're super quiet uh, these recon grapplers have uh, there if you're looking for a tire for your tow rig like uh, I love these tires they work great in the sand which is great for me they work fantastic on the highway they're really not that bad in mud I don't get a lot of ice and snow here so I can't really speak to that from what I understand they are a three peak rated compound but they don't have the official three peak rating on there um, been very happy with uh, them overall that's been one of my favorite upgrades but overall truck's been super solid uh, I know I get questions uh, hopefully I've answered everybody's question on emissions the suspension and the shell that's what I seem to get a lot of um, still like the cap still love the suspension everything seems to be working fine haven't had an issue uh thankfully out of really any of this stuff like and that's i mean i didn't want to have issues out of any of this stuff that's why you kind of get the more premium stuff right you buy a little bit more expensive you know this or that and you shouldn't have an issue but uh yep very happy don't feel any need to get any more power out of this thing it tows well uh, the airbags uh, constantly you know I've got different loads on it and uh, it works really well with being, especially with the compression adjuster so you can get it all right so all that's been great if you do have any more questions uh, just put them in the comments below I'll be happy to answer to the best of my ability if you got any questions for me directly you can always find me at Ollie Mansour editor on Instagram and until then I gotta go get some work done so uh, thanks for riding along with me and take care bye bye